there are those who take steps. And those who make the great leap forward. Those who stay as they are. And those that become more than they ever thought possible. They discover, explore, compete, and are fearless. There are those satisfied by common pursuits, and those for whom the extraordinary will never be enough. So ask yourself, will you step? giant thing we saw in the Halo 5 teaser? Holy shit! 
Whoa! Oh. oh, shit. This is so awesome. I like Buck's being, I like how Buck's in this game, this is awesome. Ah, oh, for fuck's sakes, the crawlers? Really? What the fuck is that? Oh, that's sick. You can revive your own fucking Spartan. Nice. Whoa, whoa! Hold up! Weapon cash up there. There, the knocker, like left. Buck, head up with me. Those were not Promethean Knights. What the fuck was that? Ooh. Is that a uh, concussion rifle? What is that? Dude! What the fuck? Oh! Ooh, that's awesome! The Mantis is back. We need to get airborne. We are airborne at 4 1 takeoff. Ooh. ambitious Halo campaign yet. Built for seamless drop-in, drop-out cooperative play, you'll control two distinct Spartan squads. One led by the Master Chief, the other by Spartan Lock. Now, for the first time, the epic scale of Halo's campaign carries over to our multiplayer experience. With 24 players, AI-controlled adversaries, and massive environments that are four times the size of any previous Halo map, what you're about to see is a giant leap for Halo multiplayer, and it's playable here at E3. Damn. This is Warzone. What? The broken through our defensive and our base is in lockdown. Eliminate them to secure our home base. Let's go, Sam. Put them down once and for all. Oh shit! That's a lot of fucking players. What? Wait, what? Dude, that is sick! Oh! Oh! What? Whoa! 
Oh. War zone. That's nice.